sunrise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we got good lands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. a friend, but don't delay. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this October the 13th, and fall has finally arrived. We're glad to have this weather. Oh, I think we're supposed to get a little rain tomorrow, but cool. Maybe we've turned the corner. Uh, I hope so, particularly for all you bow hunters out there that are really frustrated with trying to uh, the other night i was going home uh and the mosquito truck was in front of me going into my neighborhood and i can't believe the mosquito truck in october but uh, <laughs> hey so we you hear that laugh in the background everybody knows that laugh he's actually uh been uh, he's just got back from strike the man has been on the road uh since we've had two hurricanes you know i mean it seems like uh, uh florence and michael and, and and we got hurricane ron uh, going through there, but Ron Wong this is with us. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yes. And Larry, yes. you're absolutely right. I am so glad fall is here. <laughs> I know that for you as a fisherman, but uh, I know you've been. Tell our listeners a little bit about what you've been doing because uh, uh, one of these parts that you're, <laughs> one of your stops was this past <laughs> week, uh, uh, and you got three wonderful guests for today's show. But kind of tell our listeners what's been going on with Ron Wong. I know, I know he's been eating well and traveling. So tell them. Well, been really, really eating well. But you know, it started a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Right after our, the last time I was on, uh-huh. uh, I took a little drive about nine and a half hours down the road to the Low Country. Yes, that's uh, right. South Carolina. Um, to be honest with you, it was St. Matthews, and I had an opportunity to. Fish Lake Marion, Lake Moultrie, the Santee Cooper area, yes. and uh, oh my gosh, we were crappie fishing yeah. in 92 degree heat. Amazing. Uh, yeah. It was a great time, and then this past week, had the opportunity to spend three days with uh, the Luz Fishing Pros there at Kentucky Lake, and just then spent the next three days with Strike King pros at Kentucky Lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, it was really good because, you know, Larry, there are changes made now in the fishing world and the fishing industry with a new introduction of the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. Yep. Is what yep, they call it. Yep, yep. And uh, so I had an opportunity to talk to a couple of the pros that have moved over to that from FLW, from um, BASS, uh, it's going to be interesting. And, and the thing is, is, you know, people have asked me, what does that mean to you? Mm-hmm. Is there a big conflict? Well, to me, I think it, it, it's something that may help grow the fishing industry. All right. And, you know, we need to continually think forward, and the positive is there's room for everybody number one number two we've got to continue to grow the industry and create excitement uh for all walks of life and you know what i think mfl is going to do major league fishing is that it's going to excite some of the younger generation yeah because it's very fast paced there's no hard set rules about 
you can only catch five, you got to call this, that one, or another. It's continuous action, so that's going to be good. BASS, I think, will always continue to be uh, pioneers in what they do. Uh, FLW certainly has the most members fishing in competitive fishing, starting with their BFL, uh, which is their lowest rank for the weekend anglers and tournaments. So it's all good, and uh, I, I will tell you, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Well, I think that's uh, we're going to kind of kick that off uh, later today's show. Uh, Ron knows this. Besides three wonderful guests that were up at the Lose and Strike King, uh, Wesley Strader and our good friend Mark Menendez and, uh, of course, Keith Combs, but also today's show, we're going to talk to Dave Preck. I mean, he is the man with BASS, uh, Vice President Editorial and Communications, because they're going to do some changes. Things are going to be a little different on the Elite Series next year. And not only that, but as Ron touched on, and Ron, I'll tell you right now that we have uh, got Gary Klein on next week's show to talk, oh, ma- wow. to talk Major League Fishing. And uh, somehow we're going to get you in that conversation on next week's show, too. Cause I know I'm you- going to be on it. Yeah, because I know you want to hear what uh, Gary says about uh, uh, the Major League Fishing. And then so uh, Dave today. So we're kind of back-to-back, uh, a lot of fish talk, which I know Ron likes. And, uh, and I've got to throw in there a little bit because we are going to talk uh, a little uh, turkey because there's a book out that's uh, called The Old Pro Turkey Hunter. And our good friend Mike Giles will be on the show today to talk about that book. But I'm really excited as we get into these. This is really newsworthy. You know, October is, this is really coming all at once. Uh, both, you know, now with the Major League Fishing and now with the uh, with the uh, BSS Elite Series, uh, there's so much news coming out that it's hard to keep up with everything. So I, I know it was a, your time at, uh, at Kentucky Lake with those guys where you had a chance to mix and mingle with them, including uh, – uh, a lot of guys that's been on this show, our good friend Mark Rose is sitting right there in the front row. I saw the Major League League fishing pitcher. There was Mark oh, yeah. Mark sitting there, and a, a lot of our good friends from Lose and Strike King uh, will be uh, a part of this. But, golly, I don't remember an October before, Ron, with this much news coming out. Oh, absolutely. And it's, uh, you know, it, and the way that everything has evolved, Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of kept people on pins and needles about what's happening, what's going on, yeah. who's going where, who's that's, doing yeah. what. Uh-huh. And so that's kind of interesting. But, you know, Larry, something else. This morning, goose hunting opened up. <laughs> Geese right. hunting opened up. Yeah. Oh, okay. my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you're... You know, and I was talking to some of these fishermen. Uh-huh. And they love to duck hunt and well, sure hunt they do. geese and everything. Yeah. And yeah. they yeah. can't wait to get out there and do some of that also some of them are up north right now the ones that uh they're up in canada and the dakotas uh, uh killing all sorts of uh limits and things i'm hearing so this uh this cool weather kind of invigorates people i guarantee you, our good friend ronnie tice over at horseshoe this is the kind of crappie weather that i know he's got to love rather than fighting mosquitoes right <laughs> oh absolutely and you know larry it was just Four days ago, five <laughs> days ago, yeah. the surface temperature on Kentucky Lake yeah. was 82 degrees. Here we are into October. Yeah, that's why I said and, the, the mosquito and, guy and is it, coming out, you know. This it is, is like summertime. Yeah, well, this weekend is uh, kind of kicked it off, and Ron's going to stick with me most of the show in case he has to make a break or something like that because I, I hope he can uh, be with us. He's on the road coming back. From uh, up in t- I'm Tucky going Land. to be I'm going to be on, on and, uh, the whole show. Yes, and we're gonna maybe he might get here in time to squeeze in in the studio, but he is here. John Gordon, sorry to say, John is not here this morning. Uh, oh no, he is just too busy out there at Avery. I know they're selling all sorts of stuff and getting ready for waterfowl season, and and I got my uh, new uh, bag from uh, Banded uh, to put my waders in, so I now am fixed up for that, and then. Uh, Monday, I will be heading to my deer place to put up my redneck ground blind that I can't. It's Ron. This <laughs> this is a ground. Listen to this, Ron. You folks out there, listen to this now. It it our good friend Danny at Redneck Blinds sent me a yeah. ground blind because he knows I don't like to get up in ladders anymore. So I'm I've got it. It's been in the box. We got the box out the other day, 
there's 21 pages of instructions on how to put this ground blind up. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, so uh, I've called in a friend uh, uh, to help me put this up. But uh, anyway, it's uh, – You know, maybe maybe you need to go and <laughs> get, get one of these youngsters that can uh, – just kind of put it up for you real quick. Well, this know? my friend is. Uh, that's why I'm taking my friend Steve McPherson along. He's my hunting buddy, and he's yeah. str- he's strong as a bull. And he's just a pup at 60 years old. So uh, I'll get him. And speaking of that, speaking of birthdays, Ron just had a birthday. He was on the road again, and I, yeah. I, I know Ron's never home for yeah, never home for us to celebrate. Uh, so happy birthday, Ron. And Thank get, you very much, Larry. And guess what? Guess whose birthday what? is Sunday? I just found out. And Who? she's a little bit younger than me and you, Ron. So we're glad to have Shelby McCall turns 26 on Sunday. Give a, uh, Happy give, birthday. Yeah, there you go. Big applause for Shelby. So yeah. here we got two of the most important people on this radio show. Birthdays just a few days apart. Uh, I have to admit that uh, she is a lot younger than us, though, Ron. So it is. Um, Absolutely. It is is what it and is. She does a wonderful job, you know, pressing those buttons, oh, taking uh, those calls, making yeah. those calls. She's yeah. wonderful. Well, I want you to know that uh, about 30 minutes ago, we were going to have on this show a real special guest. And uh, I was really trying to work it out, but uh, he's going to be on real soon, and that's Brent Kiesel former defensive end for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yep. Uh, he was the captain of the Steelers. Went to two Pro Bowl, uh, two Super Bowls. Anyway, he has started a business where he takes corporate folks on outdoor outings. And wow. um, he is now part of the Mossy Oak team. And we thought we had it set up. But we'll get him down the road. I know some of you people thought we were having Brent on this morning. But, uh, hey, who better to replace Brent than, than Ron Wong, right? I mean, um, <laughs> he is the Super Bowl of our team here, you know, with so much information. And I know we're going to have some photographs, maybe a video or two or something about all these travels on LR. We're going to have some great videos <laughs> I can't on wait. LRoutdoors.com. Yeah, give him that tease. A lot of it, give, give, a lot that, of it. give him that tease of that one you did. I, I'm wanting to watch that. There's one in there that's kind of, you said was kind of special. You had a chance to visit with. Who was that? I can't, uh, remember. I can't even remember. Well, I, Who? Um, you one for, of them is Mark Rose. Yeah, that's it. That guy over, and now he's in wind yeah, now. Yeah, and I, I have to tell you, he, we shot a video. He's come out with his Mark Rose that's it. signature ledge rods with blues. And I have to tell you something. Yeah? It's pretty amazing what he has done with them, and... Um, you know, it was really good, and there's going to be some videos talking Ooh. about fall fishing. All um, right. Mostly bass, but we've got a couple of crappie ones coming up. Well, that's good, uh, yeah. I, uh, Tim, Tim Blackie, who we've yes. had on the oh, show. Oh, yeah. We've, yeah, we know Tim. You know, yeah. He showed me. Yeah, this is, this is the video that will really knock you down, but it's kind of like, you know, I felt like a kid <laughs> playing a video game with yeah. this. Yeah. New uh, piece of electronic he's got by Garmin Industries. Uh huh. It's called Pan Optics. Pan well, Optics. You can, actu- you can actually see the little bushes underneath the water. And in the bushes, if there are fish in that bush, they light up like little lights. Come on. Come on. And then you go in, and when you drop your bait down, you watch your bait actually go down. And watch it when it goes into the bush and you stop it. <laughs> then you pull your bait back up above the bush and you can see it. And as you pull it up, there's going to be times you'll see a crappie or a fish follow it. And you then can see it when they actually take the bait. Yeah, well, and you set the hook and catch them. It was, I was like, wow. Well, well let's wow. Hold, hold your wows. We're going to take our first break of the morning. Ron Wong is wow right now. Uh, that's why, oh. W-N-G. Wong. <laughs> oh, so let's take a break. Be right back. And we're going to talk a little turkey hunting here on Outdoors of Larry Ray before we really get to fishing. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 